Yikes, this is you, Stormquist, Dion. But I don't want to go, Mary Poppins. Hey, Spitzbolt, come on. All right. See you later, Mary Poppins. And just to let you know, Christian, I never explain anything. Spitzbolt, bye now. Bye, Mary Poppins. Okay, it's now time to push you off. Wait, what do you mean? I never want to... Oh, whoa! Hey guys, what's up? That was incredibly weird, but I guess you guys can guess what movie I'm going to be doing on the very first episode of Christian Critiques. I'm going to be doing a comparison between Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins Returns. It is going to be so much fun. Let's continue with the video. Woo! Pictures and information are from Walt Disney Studios. Thank you. Okay, so let's break it down. We are going to start with the very first movie, Mary Poppins, the one and only. Mary Poppins is a Disney movie based on the book by P.L. Travers, and it surely is one of the very first movies that included live action and animation mixed together in one scene with its very own original soundtrack. It had an amazing soundtrack with original songs and never before seen live action mixed with animation to make one incredible scene. And in that incredible scene included the very famous song Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Wow. Okay, back to our topic. So, in the very first Mary Poppins movie, amazing movie, I have seen it as not many times I can count because I ran out of fingers. But, it is a great movie after all. And after over 50 years, another movie has come. Mary Poppins Returns is the newest edition of the Mary Poppins franchise starring Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins. But here's the thing. Some people think that, well, like, uh, Mary Poppins Returns is a remake. What? But it isn't. It really isn't. It's actually a direct sequel. And in that sequel, it stars Emily Blunt and Lynn manuel Miranda. Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins. With all of the amazing cameos like Dick Van Dyke and the original Jane Banks, Julie Andrews decided not to be in the movie because she did not want to distract the audience from Emily Blunt's performance and she could not play any other role. And I agree with Miss Blunt here because it is true that nobody can out Julie, Julie Andrews because be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Haha. <laughs> but even not with Julie Andrews included, the movie was still fantastic. They even brought back live action and animation, as I said before, including the old fashioned penguins. Let's just take a look at what they were before and what they were now. In that scene was a, an amazing performance by Lynn manuel Miranda and Emily Blunt called The Cover Is Not The Book. Amazing. Uh, it was an amazing song. And you really got to see a whole other side of Mary Poppins that you didn't see in your childhood movie. Very interesting. And I love the performance on how much a range that Emily Blunt can control her acting. And all three child actors did amazing as the three children of Michael Banks. Hey, Disney. Oh, man. Sorry guys, I'm a little crazy. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below as I said before, and tap the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video on Super Fun with Christian. I shall see you guys next time going back up to Mary Poppins. Woo! Not a chance! Okay, see ya.